Last night, something very cool and very special, especially to mom and dad, happened last night. What would you do if you weren't afraid? I went from looking at 19 weeks pregnant to 22 weeks pregnant. Calvin likes Penny a lot more when she's eating a treat because he can have the time to pet her because she doesn't move around so much. Is that your puppy dog? She's your puppy, huh? No, it's Penny. Oh, fine, she's Penny. <laughs> That was cute. No, Pen. He's watching the kids play. Calvin's on his bike. <laughs> and oh, Jackson's on his bike too. I thought he got on the hoverboard, but he's on his bike now. Good morning, guys. We have got the house cleaned. We have got all of our tummies fed. Got my bed made. Uh, the kids did so awesome last night. We've been really working with them, telling them to stay in their beds and not come into our bed at night which I, I haven't mind having the kids come into our room at night, but I am trying to prep and get everything ready for when the baby does come because I would hate for the kids to continue to get in our bed at night and then the baby come, the baby wake them up or it just kind of like disrupting everybody. And so they did so good last night. They all slept in their beds all night long and I'm really proud of them. So they're outside playing right now and I'm getting ready for a fun date. I'm going to uh, the Albion party tonight. I was invited, I was so excited. So getting my hair dried, getting it curled. I didn't sleep much though, because um, if you guys saw my Instagram story or if you saw our vlog from yesterday, we showed my back. It is so much worse than I thought. Like the cut is that long, crazy. So I didn't sleep much because I was like rolling around. I think when it heals a little bit more in a few days, it'll feel better to like sleep on. Hi baby, how are you? Hey, well I'm getting dressed. I'm wearing a dress tonight because it's kind of fancy and dresses are super comfortable right now. Bonnie has been giving me a little tip on my hair. She was, I was asking her, is it still cute, sure? Is there anything else she do different with it? And she said, you always curl like the mid shaft to the ends. She goes, curl the top a little tighter, like have it be a little more like um to it. And I was like, oh, I need a smaller curling iron. Went to the store, didn't really, see any that I liked and then I was like, can I go to your house and borrow a curling iron? So when I went to her house, lo and behold, this is my flipping curling iron, Bonnie. <laughs> she had my curling iron at her house. Totally forgot that I had it. I love that it's short right here, big. It's the new me one, just like my, my other one that I always use, but it's tighter so it'll be really tight on the top of my hair. So funny, huh? You forget what you have and then your sister has it and then she forgets it's yours and 10 years later you get it back. So with my hair, I'm literally just taking sections and curling it right to the scalp but leaving like an inch out. And then when I'm all done, I'll fluff it up. While I sit and wait for my curls to set before I ruffle them up, I'm going to watch a YouTube video. And Bonnie keeps saying, have you watched my San Francisco video yet? And I have been dying to watch, I just, I haven't yet, so I'm watching her San Francisco video. Getting ready. So when I went to do my hair this morning, I was looking for my product and I realized that Joel had taken it from me. Like what the heck, Joel? So I went over to his house and I grabbed it. For those of you who don't know, the product that I use the most is uh, Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Spray Wax. It's a nice hearty spray wax that goes on really soft but it holds really well. And then once I actually do my hair, I top it off with some uh, bed head TJ, just a little bit, just to keep that shape and hold. The nice thing is the Paul Mitchell gives it a nice dry hold, but then the hairspray gives it a nice little uh, shine texture. So you got the best of both worlds. Don't you agree with that, Jackson? Yeah. Does my hair look nice? Yeah. Yeah, I think your hair looks nice too. You've got that nice little tweaker going on in the back. It's just your style. It's just you know what compliments you a lot. So uh, yeah, that's what I do is I just kind of brush my hair up, like get the volume and what? It's curly. Do you like the curly cues? Do you want your hair like daddy's or like mommy's? Like me? Okay. Maybe we can fix your hair. So now that I've got my product back, <laughs> thanks Joel. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm just kind of making fun of Ellie and, and what they did, but yeah. Okay, boys, let is, let's do your hair, silly pants McGee, before we go, okay? Sound good? You've got some coins too. When your piggy bank is full, we can go get them exchanged for dollar bills too. <laughs> All right, 
So last night something very cool and very special, especially to mom and dad, happened last night. Can you tell us what happened? Uh, we slept in our own beds too much. Yes, you did! You slept all through the night. Both of you, you didn't get out of bed, and mommy and daddy slept the whole night. So, high five, congratulations. High five right here, Cal. Boom! So, one thing that the boys have been doing, they've been staying in their room really, really great, but they've been waking up in the middle of the night. That's nothing new, they've always done that. But, sleeping through the night, has been something that they've struggled with. And they did it for the first time together, and it was amazing. So, since Christmas. Yeah, since Christmas. I guess since Christmas Eve, right? Yeah. Since Christmas Eve. So when you woke up this morning, I came to your room, and what did Dad have for you? Question mark box. Yeah, and inside that question mark box from Mario, what was inside? Boom, a Mario hat, a Mario coin, a toadstool thing. We had a box from Mario that was so cool. Oh, let's, we just did your hair. Let's not put that on. <laughs> Thank you for sleeping all night long. Give me a hug. Give me, give me. <laughs> Love me. <laughs> well, you look beautiful. And I am so happy with how my hair turned out. It is like, Full and like ready to party. It's super flirty. I love it. It's flirty and fun. Yahoo! I went from looking 19 weeks pregnant to 22 weeks pregnant. <laughs> I've been eating so much, guys. I'm spoiled. And we gotta go to the melting pot. Ashley, this is our friend Ashley. I went to the melting pot earlier this week with my girlfriend, and then with us going to the party tonight, we wanted to go to dinner before, so melting pot again. So we're getting our cheese, and we're ordering our chocolate nuts. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you can blow that now that I got the shot. <laughs> Thank you, that's awesome. This looks uh, wonderful. Yeah. Long time no talk. It is midnight and I just got home. I drove two hours south to um, Utah Valley and I was able to go to a meeting of Richie Norton and a couple of his buddies that they have a business together. The meeting was all about um, some principles that Richie has, has taught for a long time and it was just really, really great. I find myself in periods of time where I am super motivated to do things and then I kind of find myself in a little slump. And then I get back into the super motivated period of time. Right now I'm in that super motivated period of time and I don't want to get into that slump period. And everything that I've talked about in the past, I've tried to act on the things that I've said that I would do and you know practice what you preach. I love like self-help, motivational speaking. I love all of that stuff because it's so cool to hear and to learn and to apply. And the application is the most important thing. You can hear and teach all of these things, but the application is the most important thing. And we're applying a lot of different things. And that's why I keep saying 2018 is going to be so amazing is because we're applying a lot of these things that we've learned, and you'll see that very soon. But I just wanted to come on and just talk about a couple things before we end the vlog. I've said a lot in the past, what would you do if you weren't afraid? And we've talked about that. That's kind of been a theme that I've brought to Ellie and I and our family and to the vlog channels. What would you do if you weren't afraid? But I feel like the last year, I've kind of forgot that and you know, a period of downtime, and now I'm super motivated again. <laughs> it's funny how it just comes in waves. But I'm asking myself, what would I do if I weren't afraid? But not only that, like, what do you want to do? And then my next question is, what's stopping you? And why is it stopping you? In my mind right now, I'm thinking about retirement. Like 65 years old, retirement. What will I want to do 
when I'm like, oh, when I'm retired, this is going to be what I'm going to do. I'm going to finally relax when I'm retired. Those kinds of things. I think of my dad, I think of Ellie's dad. When we're finally retired, what do we want to do? If we have that mindset, we're always going to be waiting. What is stopping us right now from doing the thing that we want to do? And so I'm just kind of thinking about that and thinking if I'm putting myself years ahead of where I am now, what will I look back on and regret? I am so grateful that Ellie and I decided to do this and so many other ventures that are happening later on. And I don't want to live with excessive regret. I'm sure there's going to be some things that we regret in the future. I don't want to have excessive regret to the point where I wish I would have done something or I have the opportunity to do it right now. What would you do if you weren't afraid? I got home, I've been having a two hour car ride there, a two hour car ride back, and I've just been thinking, and I don't even know if any of this makes sense to any of you. It may be like, oh Jared, you're just talking again. Another part of why we do this is this is a journal for us. This is something that I can look back on. And I know that today is going to be a day that going forward, things are going to change and be exciting for us. This is the start of something new. I want this to be a moment where I look back and be like, right there is where it happened. So thank you for listening. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but when I, when I vlog, I imagine you that I'm talking to, not that I'm talking to a camera, but I imagine our audience. I try and picture our audience as like one individual. And, and I'm talking to you and I'm thinking, but I'm also talking to myself, talking to Jared. So it's kind of funny holding a camera, imagining you and imagining myself, whether that's future Jared or past Jared. But I'm grateful for the support. I'm grateful for what we do. I'm grateful for my family. There's just a lot of gratitude in my heart right now. That is where I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for watching. This weekend is going to be a blast. We're gonna have a lot of family around. It's a Super Bowl. Who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? I guess by the time the video goes up, it's already done. We already know who decided, so congratulations to those people who won. But thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.